Hi, I'm Chris Savage, an engineer here at Parallax Inc. And while you may be familiar with our products and the high quality standards that we strive for, you may not be familiar with the quality control systems in place to bring these high quality products to you. At Parallax Inc., our manufacturing and quality control systems incorporate our very own products in these procedures. Our products are used in the manufacturing process of other products here at Parallax, such as a solder pot controller, which is used to regulate the temperature of the solder used here for basic stamp modules. Since all of our products are tested 100% before being sold to customers, we also develop our own in-house test procedures for testing these products. For example, basic stamps are tested one at a time using a basic stamp tester that we designed here at Parallax. This is an open source design and you can find the plans for building your own basic stamp tester on our forums. Sometimes the test procedures consist of using one product to test another product. Uh, in the case of our XB modules, we have the XB adapter boards which are used to allow you to interface the XB adapters easily to the propeller or the basic stamp microcontrollers. In this video, I'm going to show you the test procedure developed for the 5 volt, 3.3 volt XB adapter board. The XP adapter has several circuits to test that ensure that everything is working as it should be. The IC on the adapter buffers eight signal lines and each line must be tested. There is a diode to protect the reset line when using a 5 volt microcontroller such as the basic stamp module. And finally, the voltage regulator needs to output 3.3 volts plus or minus 5% to ensure proper voltage for the XP module. The LEDs are visually checked to ensure that they work and that the proper color LED is in place. The tester was built using a propeller proto board and a custom laser cut acrylic enclosure fitted with pogo pins for the XB adapter to interface to. The white posts guide the adapter board to line up with the pogo pins. Once the board is pressed down, a switch engages which starts the test. The propeller object was written to perform a series of tests and to report a pass or fail state of the adapter board being tested. This is done by blinking an LED green for pass or red for fail. The LED is bicolor. The tester knows when to begin by sensing the closure of a switch when the board is pushed down onto the pogo pins. The first circuit tested is the reset circuit. A pull-up resistor in the test fixture simulates the pull-up on the XB reset line, so the test first verifies that the reset line is high. It then asserts the line low via the diode and verifies that the reset line went low. If the diode were in backward or missing, this test would fail. The next circuit tested is the voltage regulator. It is important to test this circuit next since without proper voltage the remaining test could fail. The voltage is tested using an ADC0831 analog to digital converter IC sold by Parallax. This IC returns an 8-bit value of the voltage on the input based on the voltage reference, which in this case is set to 5 volts. By setting the VREF to 5 volts, we allow for measurement of voltages greater than 3.3 volts. A single reading of the ADC is compared to a range of acceptable values. If outside this range, the test fails. The final circuit tested is the octal buffer IC. This is done by placing an 8-bit pattern on the inputs and verifying the outputs match. The pattern is then inverted and tested again. If either verify fails, the test fails. The outputs from the propeller are protected by 220 ohm resistors in case of a short circuit on the adapter board. Here is an example of some boards being tested. Note that the adapter board is gently pressed under the pogo pins and the test is completed almost immediately. When the adapter board is removed, the tester is then ready for the next board. It is important to note that the code is set up so that if any test fails, any remaining tests are cancelled and the entire test fails. Because of the structure of the code, it would be easy to display which test failed based on the abort code returned at the end of the test. This information can be used to label the board for rework if necessary. I mentioned that we use our own products in the manufacture of other products, and that one such application was a solder pot controller. The solder pot controller was designed on a Parallax Professional Development Board and then migrated to a supercarrier board inside a metal enclosure. The application uses a basic stamp 2PX module to monitor the temperature of our lead-free solder pot and to maintain a set temperature input via a rotary encoder on the front. 
the temperature is constantly displayed and when the solder pot first reaches its initial set point, it beeps to let the manufacturing staff know that it is ready for use. The solder pot is an open source design and the information for building it can be found on our forums. The stamp module testers we use for testing all basic stamps were designed within Parallax and built from kits or modified to adapt to other test fixtures. Two of the stamp testers are open source designs which are available from our forums. Some other testers are built on supercarrier boards or propeller proto boards. Circuitry is included to power the target device and run a series of tests providing a pass-fail indication, usually using a green and red LED. Some test procedures are more complex, such as this wheel encoder test fixture, which programs the wheel encoder and then performs the test by spinning an actual encoder wheel and evaluating the results from the wheel encoder board. The HP25 motor controller is programmed, calibrated, and tested using this test fixture which uses pogo pins to connect to the HP25 PCB while a mechanical interlock holds the board in place. The output is then tested using a simulated load for calibration and voltage range. These are just a few of the many test procedures in place at Parallax to ensure quality, problem-free products for our customers. In the future, more and more of these test procedures will be made open source so that you too can see how we test the products here and develop your own test procedures for your own projects.